Hi guys, I've got here the new LEGO City Advent Calendar, new for 2016. The item number is 60133 and you get 24 LEGO City gifts in this set. I've actually got no idea what's in it other than what I've seen on the box, but it looks pretty cool from what I've seen so far. There's a couple of hockey players here with ice skates on. There's a fireman playing a guitar, a nice Christmas tree. I like this snow plow here as well, looking forward to opening that. And there's even a festive Christmas lamp as well. The snowman, Santa obviously, I love these dogs. I've got those in another Christmas set, they look awesome. And let's see what's on the back. Right, so on the back, as normal with the advent calendars, you can flip the front down to form a playmat. So and I guess here they've got the prison island, the fire station and the volcano set, so maybe that gives us a clue as to what's in this set. So let's go ahead and open it, I can't wait. So here's the play map when it's laid out. It looks a little plain actually, but I like the festive log cabins like the Winter Village style they've got there. And a nice ice skating rink, so there's definitely going to be two figures with the ice skating on. This snowy path is really cool as well. I imagine here there's going to be a sleigh, um, or maybe that's from Santa and his sleigh, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and open number one. Number one is right here. So let's see, what do we get in there? It's a snowman. This is fantastic, I really like this. You get a cool little snowman with a nice gold fireman's helmet. And then you get his little brother next to him as well. I think this is awesome, it's really cute. I really like how they've done the scarf as well using the, the, red, the red piece with the tooth on the end of it. This is fantastic, I'm really happy with it. If I got this calendar as a gift and on the first day I opened it, I got this, I would be so happy. I really like this. All right, let's see what we get for day two, which is bang in the middle of the board. Let's have a look. This one. Oh, it's the fireman playing a guitar. Okay, I deserve a slapped wrist. This is actually a fire woman. I was presumptuous and assumed it was a man. How cool is this? A fire woman playing a guitar. I really like this minifigure. I think the backpack is fantastic. This fits together really well. So the grey piece for the, the mouthpiece actually clips onto the top of the, the back piece and then the helmet fits nicely on top of that and snugly with the visor as well. So this is really nice. So this is really nicely done. Good printing on there as well. Alright, let's check out day three which is in the top right corner. Here we go. What's in there? Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay, we're looking at day four now which is in the top and it's another minifigure. Fantastic. Okay, it definitely was a guy this time, and I'm not sure what he's got there. I'm not sure if it's a microphone or some kind of musical instrument, but it's in a nice festive gold colour. Maybe it's a maybe it's supposed to be a trumpet so he can play the music alongside his colleague. I don't know. But even so, look at the printing on this. Very nice. This is fantastic. Really happy with all of these gifts so far. This is turning out to be a really good set. Okay, into the middle now for number five. What do we think this is going to be? Something festive, no doubt. Ooh, it's a, it's a bike of some kind. It's a snow bike. So you get a really nice snow bike or snowmobile. This is really well put together. I particularly like the skis at the front. They're really nice. To be honest, I'm not sure what this yellow canister thing is. Um, no idea what that is. Um, I guess it's a... I don't know. If you know what this yellow canister is, then please let me know in the comments below, because I've got no idea. Normally that's like mustard or something like that in a hot dog stand, but I don't know why we would have this with a, a snow bike. So yeah, if you let me know, that'd be great. Now we're on day six, let's see what we've got here. Oh, okay. At first I thought this was a handheld snow plow, but actually if you look, it's got a ball joint at the back which would fit onto the snow bike that we just looked at. And you get some little round white pieces to represent snow. So the snow bike can double up as a snow pile. Although, really, I think Lego, you should have made that one gift instead of two. But never mind, it's good all the same. Day seven now, looking number seven, right at the bottom. Can't wait to see what this is. Ooh, very nice. So this looks like it's some festive piece that you could put on top of a wall or maybe on top of a building. It looks quite nice, it's got the snow on top of it and the wreath looks very cool with the red stud on it. This is nice, simple but nice. Although having seen what they did with the snow plow in the last surprise, I'm kind of wondering if this is going to form part of some other gift as well. 
I'd be disappointed if it is. Naughty Lego. All right, day eight right over here. Let's see. This one's a minifigure. Excellent. Here's the first of our ice hockey players. According to the box, there's going to be two, so I guess LEGO consider that two separate gifts. I really like this, and I think it's really cool that you get the ice skates with them as well. I haven't put them on him because I couldn't get him to stand on the platform, so I took them off and just put them on the front there, but you don't necessarily have to have him playing ice hockey. You can use those skates so he can just be skating around having fun um, at the ice rink. Very nice. This is cool. Very happy with this so far. Let's have a look at number nine right at the bottom here. Ooh, okay. This is a net for the ice hockey players. I see what LEGO are doing now. They've obviously got a theme going, so you can build up a scene using several different GIFs. This is quite nice. Uh, it's very nice and simple. I like how they've built the net, just using those two lattice pieces, one on top of the other. And I like the trans blue piece they've used to represent the ice as well. Looks really good. Okay, you got the second of the hockey players here, and I'm kind of glad LEGO have put two in here now. At first I thought it was a bit tight having them as separate gifts, but now I've changed my mind because you get two of these, and you also get the net as well for them to play ice hockey with, so I think this is actually really good. And I really like the print on this, it's got a nice little scarf. Really awesome. And of course the hockey stick looks like a J. Awesome. Okay, I'll stay on this side of the camera for number 11, which is right here. And that looks nice. This one looks nice, although to me it looks a little peculiar. I think it's meant to be some kind of tree with some lights on it, but I tried to put the stuff in different positions and I just couldn't make it look very natural. And it looks kind of even worse on cam, but in real life it does look quite nice. Um, just on cam, can't make it look cool. Okay, number 12 is over here, halfway to Christmas. Let's see what we get. How awesome a lamppost. I do like the Winter Village style lampposts. I think they look really nice with the, the twin lights and the wreath on top as well. I need to get some more lampposts for my Lego City actually, and I, I really do like the black I really do like the black creator style lampposts, but they're hard to find and they haven't been available on Pick a Brick for quite some time. You can only get the white ones. But this is really nice. Okay, now it's time for Unlucky 13. Unlucky for some. Awesome, it's a minifigure. Not entirely sure what this guy is doing, but I guess we'll find out later when we open another gift that perhaps he partners up with. I like his walkie-talkie, it looks like he's got some kind of lever or control on there as well. And his print is nice as well, he's, I like the, they've used a kind of metallic silver for the, the belt buckle, which is a really nice touch. Okay, I'll stay on this side for number 14, just to confuse you all, it's right over here. So, let's see what we get in this one. It's a helicopter. I knew there would be a helicopter in this set, partly because I saw it on the box, but also because LEGO City sets, they have so many helicopters. LEGO are always making helicopters of different styles. And I think this one is quite cool. I've not seen one built like this before. I think it looks really neat, and I'm assuming it's a remote control one, so the guy that we opened the day before can operate it using his remote control. Number 15 is over here, on the bottom right. And let's see what's in that. Very nice. This is some kind of shop or kiosk. It's very nicely done. It's very festive with the red and white awning at the top. It's even got two gold pieces at the top as well, which make it look really nice. And it could actually be a ticket store maybe for the ice hockey. And you get a little money piece there, which is a hundred. So whatever it's selling here, it's very expensive. Quiz time. Does anybody know what the LEGO currency is? These pieces always come in 100, but it never says on there what the actual currency is. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. Number 16 now at the bottom in the center. Ah, got a model aeroplane this time. And I'm a little disappointed with this actually. It's very simple, it's very basic, really easily made. I guess you can use it as a remote control plane, but we've already got a helicopter, so Lego, I think you could have included a minifigure instead. It does look nice, but it's a little disappointing given that the ones that we've seen so far have been so fantastic. Up now is number 17, right here, bottom left. Ah. We've got another stall or kiosk, and very similar to the other one, just a little bit fancier. So you get some gold for the counter, 
and there's no money pieces with this one so I'm not sure what it's selling or what it's for but it looks nice all the same. We're at the top centre for number 18. Yeah, it's a minifig. This is a nice minifigure, it must be one for the Volcano set and I'm not really sure why he's got a cookie piece on his hand signal there but never mind. He uses the same gas mask set as the Fireman and the Firewoman but the print is slightly different. I like that he's got pockets on his trousers, got a little set of cargo pants and yeah he looks really cool, looks very nice. Not very festive though which is a little strange but nice all the same. Right, number 19, we're almost there. Let's see. Ah, we've got a refrigerator here with what looks like cookies and milk. So maybe one of the kiosks can be selling those. It's quite a simple build, but I like it. It's, it looks nice, it's handy to have. And you can always reuse this for something else. You could use it as a, a letter box or something like that. Number 20, bottom right. I remember seeing these on the front of the box and I'm not quite sure whether they're presents or whether they're cakes and I guess it doesn't really matter because you could use them as either to be honest. I guess if you replace one of the cheese slopes with maybe a, a single square with a clip on it, uh, it should look like a ribbon but even so, these are handy to have. Although, to be honest I think they could have included a few more pieces rather than just these two. But anyhow, they look nice, very festive, happy with those. Now we're up to 21 in the top right. And it's a Christmas tree. The Christmas tree looks very nice from most angles except the back. You get some gold and some trans red studs to decorate it with and a nice gold star at the top. I like how they've made it look like there's branches using the slope pieces and unfortunately at the back I guess this is where they made some sacrifices so they could have given us maybe two more slope pieces but they chose not to. So you can only view this from certain angles to have it look nice. Even so it's really nice to have, I like this. Day 22, Christmas is almost near, and this one's in the lower middle section. Ah, very nice. I thought this was a sleigh when I first saw it, but then they started putting bones inside of it, and I thought that's a little strange to put in a sleigh. But I guess it's a water station and a feeding bowl for the cute little dog that we get there. The cute little husky. He's really nice. Great printing on that. Great moulding as well. I don't like it when they put that stud on the back of the animals though, but never mind. Other than that, I really like this. I really like the little detail of the trans blue stud in the bucket to make it look like water or ice. Very nice. Okay, 23rd of December on the right here. We've got one left after this. And this one is Santa's sleigh. Here is a sleigh for Santa to sit in. It's got a little seat at the back for presents, I guess. And at the front, it's got the pole to attach to the weird stud on the top of the dog. So I guess that's why they keep putting it on there. Um, but yeah, this looks nice. I like it. Okay, this is it, Christmas Eve and number 24. I wonder what this is gonna be. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, so let's see if I'm right. It's Santa, yes. So here's Santa, the gift for day 24, and he's really nice. There's not much printing going on, but what I did notice is his eyebrows, if you look very closely, they're gray and they're white. That's a really nice detail that they've included there. You get a cup with this, and you also get a little sack, which is for presents, and I guess that goes on the back of the sleigh that we opened on the 23rd. I like that he's got a red cup. I like the red color for this guy, actually. He looks really, really nice, really cool. Now remember, you've got to behave else he won't bring you any presents. Okay guys, that is it. And that's a shame because I really enjoyed opening this one. I think this has got some really cool stuff in it. I really like Santa and his little sleigh and his little husky. I've got him right in the middle of the playmat there. And down at the other end of the track, we've got the little snow plow. I've attached it to the snow bike and I put some little white studs there to make it look like snow. Down in this corner, we've got the guy playing with a remote control helicopter. And over there, we've got the two kids playing ice hockey, which is really neat. I put the stalls at the back, so I didn't really know what to do with them. So I've just left them there for now. 
I've got the Christmas tree on this decking. I've got the nice little festive lamp post there. Two minifigures there having a jam with a guitar and the microphone with the speaker next to it. I'm not sure if the guy with the cookie on his stand is supposed to be in the band, but in my Lego City he is. I've got the Christmas tree on the right with the two presents underneath, so I decided they were presents and not cakes in the end. And finally at the bottom there I've got the cute little snowman with his little snow brother. This was a really great set. It cost me £19.99. You get 24 gifts with this, although some of them do double up. I still think it's excellent value. And I think this is really cool. I'm really happy with this. I had so much fun opening this and setting this up. This, I would be really, really happy if I got one of these for Christmas. Or oh, actually, I'd be really happy if I got it before Christmas so I could open it. And I'd probably do what I've done today, which is open it early. But, you know, never mind. Alright, that's it. Thanks for listening guys, I hope you had a good time, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about this set. Which is your favourite gift out of the 24 that came with this? Let me know in the comments below, it would be good to hear from you. And of course if you think I've earned it, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, bye.